the scenery is in stark contrast to that of Beijing. Icy surroundings, freezing temperatures, and an outdoor swimming pool. It was about minus two or three the other day, so that wasn't too pleasant, but it's all right, you get used to it. It's really warm in here. Yeah. It's just when you get out, you freeze to death. Nice and warm, Heather. <laughs> Fortunately for the swimmers, the competing takes place indoors, where we find Ellie Simmons. She struck gold twice at last year's Paralympics and now says she's ready for new challenges. I was so happy that it's time, like, just seeing me win, like, two gold medals. But now I have to look into the future. Like, London's only three years away, and we've got, like, European Championship now. And the 14-year-old has run riot in Reykjavik. Five golds, including a stunning world record in the 200 metres individual medley, an event she hadn't even competed in before. I can't believe I got the world record like in last week in like IM, which is not really my main event, but yeah, it's really good. Ellie Simmons isn't the only attraction here this week, though. There's also been a lot of attention focused on the inclusion of those with learning disabilities, because this is the first Paralympic competition they've been able to take part in since the Sydney Games in 2000. There, the Spanish basketball team were found to have cheated, and ever since, the S14 category has been in exile. Many feel the return of the S14 swimmers for the European Championships is a step in the right direction, and being part of the squad certainly meant a lot to Stephanie Bird, who took home gold in the 100 metres backstroke. Oh, it's just been amazing, really. You know, I'm so proud to be on the team. I really can't believe I'm here at the moment. I'm just so happy. I just have not know what to say. <laughs> Her place and that of the other learning disabled swimmers in the 2012 Paralympics won't be decided until next month. But with less than three years until the London Games, the Great Britain squad look in phenomenal shape. Nick Hope, BBC News, Iceland.